Hello, hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. If this is your first time, I welcome you. I hope this message will resonate with you. And as a result, you will subscribe to be a part of the family here. It will be a pleasure having you. If you're a returning soul triber, again, thank you so very much for your continuous love and support. I am making videos. So in case you don't see anything, please just click onto my channel, Divine Destiny Guide. Click on videos so that you can see the uploads. I'm not sure what is going on, guys, but, you know, when you're doing this kind of work and you're doing it from a pure place, there will always be attacks. And so... I am I am aware of this and I know in the end we win in the end we win and so no matter what is going on we will persevere we will persevere so again welcome 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 and I just pray that God will continue to bless you wherever you are and that the hearts, the people who are meant to get this message will receive it. Okay, so you saw the topic, Scorpio, the spotlight is on you. The spotlight is on you at this time. And as I was shuffling the cards and meditating, Spirit, why are you saying the spotlight is on your people and the sun card came out I mean look at her guys look at look at yourself the spotlight is on you you are the sun and again I know we are in you know Leo season where all things bright and beautiful I mean, you're radiating, you're glowing in whatever field, whatever you're embarking on. The spotlight is on you. It's like the sun. Can you imagine the spotlight? You, I mean, you cannot be hidden. You're that city that is on that hill. It doesn't matter how people try to cover you up, shut you up. Try to dumb you down. Try to make you seem as if you're not relevant. Nobody can hide the sun. The clouds must move, but the sun stands still. This is unbridled joy that you have. You know, it's like, the saying or a song, but it's like this joy that I have, this peace that I have, the world did not give it and the world cannot take it away. So it doesn't matter if people strip you off the altar, if people try to, to lay traps, blockages, Try to, like I said, to bind you, to put a band-aid, to silence you. What God has for you, it is for you. What is mine cannot be undermined. It doesn't matter the hexes, the curses, the voodoo, the spells, whether people are mixing up potions, hocus pocus, or they're just trying to, they're speaking negative things into the atmosphere we bind those things up and we rebuke them we return them to sender and again these people they may try to like i said just to silence you because you 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 stand out too much for them you are too much because you're not a part of the agenda you realize you were made to stand out. The sun stands out. You know because of this calling on your life, you're not here to fool around. 
You are here to make an impact. You are here to be a life, a world changer. And so your light irritates their darkness. If you think I'm making it up, I'm not sure what time you're watching this video, but whenever it gets dark, approach whatever room where you are. And even when you're approaching, it may look very dark, but the moment you hit the switch, the darkness must disappear. Darkness cannot stand in the presence of the light. And so at this time, Spirit is saying the spotlight is on you. And it doesn't matter what they try to do. You are unstoppable. And the next card that followed with that, believe it or not, is the Knight of Swords. Unstoppable force. Unstoppable force. This reminds me of the song by, I believe, Taylor Swift. You're coming like a wrecking ball. This is the thing that scares people. Like I said, you're not here to fool around. Whether this is in your workplace, I'm not here to gossip. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make a difference. Because see, all of us, we have an allotted time to make an impact. Because as this wheel continues, others will be stepping up to the plate. So it's important that the time that you have now, that you make use of it. Because a lot of people in the past, they thought that they would still be here today. But no. I mean, look at life. Everything changes. Everything changes. We are the only, we were supposed to be the smartest ones. And most of us, we want change, but we don't want to change. And so for, for some of you, if you are not already in the spotlight where you are rightly dividing the word of truth, the word of God, the word of the divine. This word is a prediction for somebody who is listening or a confirmation that you are meant to be in the spotlight. You have a calling on your life. It doesn't matter where you are. Bloom where you are planted. It could be there in the office where you are. It could be in your community. Yes, it could be you have a channel. Yes, it could be where you are a, a great speaker, a communicator, where you are seen, you travel around the world to spread the, the, the news. as well as you can be at home, like I'm doing, you're making your videos and you're able to impact others all around the world as well. But the goal here is your purpose. See, the spotlight is not fun because with the spotlight comes responsibility. How you pretty much, how do you present yourself? How authentic are you? Is this for you or is this for a higher purpose? So it's important for us to check our motive as well. Don't allow our flesh to be so puffed up. Some people, they start off good but then they allow self and, and money and, and just jealousy and envy to take them over. And then they start to dibble dabble into other things.
You know, like King Saul, he didn't start out that way. He was anointed. And then, just because young David came up, where David, you know, killed Goliath and the people were celebrating David. You know, Saul killed a thousand, David ten thousand. Saul, that triggered his insecurities and his jealousy. And from then on, he seek to kill David. And so it is, a lot of the people who are ahead of you are ahead of us. When they look and because they started out maybe in a pure space as well, but they allowed another entity to take them over. Now when they see somebody who is coming up, who is vibrant, who reminded them of who they were before they allow the material things, the enemy to take over their spirit, and now what they do is sit back on their platform, whatever device, they set evil eyes. They try to create spells. They try to create blockages in other people's way. But the good thing about it is that we know how the story ends. See, in this life, it doesn't mean that whatever we start, we are the ones who are going to finish it. I love to look at this life as a sport, track and field relay. We pass the baton on. You know, it's like Paul planted, Apollos watered, and God gave the increase. So even if I start this channel and at any point God can say you have accomplished what you have were set out for or to do, it's time to move on to something else. He will provide somebody. There is always a remnant, somebody to step up because the work of God must and it will go on. God is unstoppable. Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. And as I said before, in the end, God wins. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries. You know, he's fizzling out and he's freaking out. And he's trying to see as much as he can clamp down and shut down as he can. But he cannot stop the work of God. Because, see, God created the enemy. And so if people were smart, they would realize that the enemy has no power. Because God can take him out whenever he feels like. But because we have a God who gives us free will. So it's like, okay, let us be ruled by two forces. Light or darkness, good or evil. So people have the free will to choose. But a lot of people love to choose lack because all the enemy can do is duplicate. The enemy cannot make anything. All he does is take what God already made and present it to people as if he did it. He's a copycat, a doppelganger. That's all he is. He's not authentic. All he can do is get people into trouble, but he cannot help them out. At the moment they get into trouble, he runs away too because he's scared. He's a puppet. So the purpose that you have in this life is to be a world, a life changer, to wake up the collective. To make an impact on this world don't take it lightly we don't know how long all of this is going to be out there so every chance that you get to put a video out there make it useful let this not be about you where God guides he provides 
Where he guides, he provides. So this should not be about you and how, you know, you can make money. Where God guides, he provides. You will be able to reap the fruits of your labor. Like I said, you may start in one area, but you may finish in another. It doesn't matter. Why? Because we are ambassadors. We are on a mission for God, for the divine. Wherever there is another project, you know, it reminds me of the movie Transporter. We can get a call at any moment for another assignment and we should be willing to move for your glory. I will do anything because I, I, at the end of the day, it's only what we do for God will last. Only what we do for the divine will last. But you shouldn't worry about how your needs are going to be provided. He will make a way out of no way. You don't need to be jealous of what another person has. What God has for you, it's for you. He's going to open doors that no one can close. He's going to close doors that no man can open. And just know that whatever attack that is coming up against you, or a force that will come against you when you're walking in your purpose, that is only, let me tell you, the enemy must get permission from God before he attacks his people. And God just give them a time to play themselves out. He gives them rope to hang themselves. It's like, for how long? Don't you see what you're doing is not affecting my people? Until he just say, you know what, to heck with it. And he hit the gavel, judgment. And these people will be paid. They will be rewarded too. You will be rewarded, so will they. Whatsoever we sow, that's exactly what we're going to reap. So if they reap, if they sow darkness, they're going to reap darkness. You sow purity, light, love, fruits of the spirit. You're going to get that and some. All your needs will be provided. Again, whenever these movies are done whether it's James Bond the transporter whatever I love action movies but you know they always jet set off onto their vacation they always go off on their vacation in the end yes God will allow you to rest beautifully when the work when your task is done when your assignment is done the enemies they're gonna be stuck in their head in a nine of swords in a trap again whatsoever they sow that's what they're going to reap you will be you are meant to be in the spotlight you are meant to be seen and spirit is saying at this time with these page of coins Recognize the opportunities that are around you. Whatever the channels, the platforms that you're on, you just never know. You may just put out an inspiring word, a message, a quote, and that does something for somebody. Use your time. Spend your time wisely. It's a cycle, and you look at it, one new gener one generation is moving on another one is coming in make yourself relevant where you are you're called to serve you know as i see the soldier and the flag you're called to serve you're called to wake up others so that they too like this child they too can wake up to their purpose somebody woke us up Somebody came into our life and set us on our journey so that we could meet as a family. 
The card says grateful together, the four of wands. Celebration to bring stability, peace, and harmony into our life. So you're meant to be unstoppable. Freedom is not really free, is it? Only what we do for Christ will last. So make sure when you're serving as an ambassador, you're making a difference in the life of the people around you. Look, queen of coins, peaceful abundance. I told you, don't worry about how your needs are going to be met. You know, the thing is we are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are earth angels. We're here to touch the lives of people. God takes care of his own. Don't worry about the, the how and the why. He has it all figured out. Everything you're going through right now, nothing is a surprise to God. Nobody tapped God on his shoulder and said, Hey, did you know that so-and-so is going through this right now? This is all a part of the plan. Spirit is calling you to serve, to step into the spotlight. Spirit is calling you. God is calling you to serve, to serve. God gets the glory. People don't have to see your face. People don't even have to know how to pronounce your name properly because this is not about you. This mission, this purpose, it is, it is greater than you. Yeah. The wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. Lucky twist of faith. This is destined. This is destiny. This is what I'm telling you. Some of you are already in your calling and you're doing so beautifully, gracefully. From the divine through me to you, God is proud of you. Keep up the wonderful work you're doing. And for those of you who are getting ready to start your journey, this is fated. Just know that everything, every challenge, every abundance, every thing that looks like good break, blessings that come your way, it is all a part of the divine's plan. It's God's plan. It's all a part of his plan. And everything is going to work together for your good. So don't be discouraged. Your journey that you're on now, don't break before your breakthrough. I believe I have a video out like that, so somebody may need to watch that. Click on the videos, you will see. Don't break before your breakthrough. So a lot of you, you're at that last part where you're stepping out of, of your awakening and you're stepping into your calling. You have to be strong. You're called, you're a soldier. You are brave. You can do this. You can do this. Face the things, the, 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 the bloodiness, the unfairness, the bias, the spiritual attacks. Spirit is saying, you can do this. You can do this. Think about all the things that a soldier must face, must stomach on the battlefield. Spirit is saying, I already equip you with all of this. And when you come in, like I said, you're coming like a wrecking ball. And this is going to freak out a lot of people. And let me tell you, all of my cards, they are in the upright. And the death card is in the reverse. And this is us. But Spirit is saying, they will not, they cannot put an end to you. This is resisted ending. 
Nobody can stop what God has for you. What God has for you, it is for you. No matter how much money, how much cards they shuffle, how much pots they boil over, running over, you know, chanting and all of this foolishness, can't stop you. Shadow banning can't block you. Because the goal is to do your work, to serve. You're not called to fight these battles with these people. God fights your battles for you. They can't put an end into you. Spirit is saying they cannot put an end into you. Seven of ones, all in. You are determined. Come hell or high water. Look at the intensity in her eyes. This is saying you must not know about me. You must not know about me. I am a child of God. I am here for a long time, not just a good time. I'm all in. I'm determined. Spirit is protecting you. You have the forces of heaven backing you. And yes, like I said, don't worry about how you're going to be taken care of. All your needs will be provided for. Abundance. People will give to you. Doors, opportunities will open for you. Who God bless, no man curse. This is what you need to know. Whatever you're doing in this life, you are in your calling. You're getting ready to get in your calling. Don't give up. Don't give in. You don't dim for anybody. Don't dim your light for anybody. Be an unstoppable force. Be passionate about what you're here for. The Knight of Swords, you're here to communicate, rightly dividing the word of truth. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy is deceitful. Mm. This is powerful. You're here to speak the truth. Is this you? Are you the one? Are you the one? I'm not here to convince you. You either know it or you don't. You know that there is a calling on your life because people have tried to put an end to you over and over again, and yet still they are unsuccessful. People came up with, with less, less challenges and they're gone. But you're here for a purpose. You are here on purpose for a purpose because God kept you. He protected you. You are a warrior, a spiritual warrior. I'm so happy for you. Spirit says, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time when you're doing this. And you know, when I started this and shuffling, I'm like, wow, the divine just, he has everything lined up. Speaker, your life purpose involve your skills of oration. I told you the sword of the knight of swords here. You are meant to communicate the word. Speak the word of truth. Speak life into dead situation so that you can wake up these people. People need to be freed. People need to be rescued. You are the sun. You need to put life. Think about the plants with the sun. You are here to bring dead things back to life. This is what you're here. Look, creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. So is it writing? Is it poems? I'm telling you. If you are doing this work, you need to step up your game. At least if you're going to be persecuted, make it count for something good. Because whether you do good or evil, people are going to have something to say. 
So let make it count. Just do, do, do what is good. Do what you were intended to do in the first place. It's never too late to repent. It's never too late to get rid of those selfish ways that we have and recommit ourselves to the calling that is on our life. You are, you're here as an energy, energy healer. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. You're a healer. You're here to, to heal people. Again, talk to your angels. Spirit is saying it's time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. Time to decide. Like I said earlier, we all have a choice. We all have a choice, but see that, that broad road, a lot of people think it's a choice, but it's really not, the end is not good. Because the person who copycats is not an original. So he can't even provide a great ending when you are done going down that path anyway. But when you choose to follow that narrow, it may be lonely. Yes, it will be lonely, to be honest with you. Because you're meant to stand out. We don't see two suns in the sky. It's only one. You're going to shine in your area, your avenue. But that's the road that's going to lead to victory. That's the, the ending that is going to lead to people's lives and hearts that are changed forever. Forever.